Hi guys, welcome back to our Nostalgia Total War series, where today we are playing the Julii in our Rome Total War campaign, and we are going to be fighting a few battles, killing a few Carthaginians, and hopefully making peace with the Gauls at some point. Now, in terms of what we've done, we've only just taken Northern Italy so far, not hugely fast. Uh, there's a, is that a Gaul, or is that a Brutii? That's Brutia, a diplomat. I'd like to get over to the Gauls, just cease fire with them. Um, just because it stops them coming in here and stops them fighting us. We'll bring Amulius Julius here and we will recruit these mercenaries if we can. Now, in terms of the retraining, we've got that going. Medio Lardium, you are going. And we have this battle to fight over here. So, yeah, we'll bring these guys across. I think Daisy is going to attack, but not 100% sure. What is he doing? Get a room, please, bro. Okay, there we are. Um, so, Quintus over here. We're going to probably attack into Carolus, and then we might go across to Lilybaum. Uh, Lily, how would you say that? Biome? Lily Biome? Uh, and yeah, they've got four. We've got you know six units. And I mean, if they have if they have elephants, we'll lose. If they have generals, you know, if they've got more generals bodyguard than us, we'll probably lose. But apart from that, it should be okay. Okay, what's this? Town militia and peasants. We could go up to Parma. I think that's what we'll do. And then maybe sail all the way to Caedonia. These islands aren't really very valuable though, but it's a bit of trade bit of spread on the map so I think we'll fight this battle we're not gonna fight every single battle in the game but we'll definitely fight the majority Carthage's army stands in the field they are not worth fearing they die as easily as other men now take up the sword string your bow look to your arms and armor now comes the hour when we test Roman courage! It's short and sweet. I wonder whether he's got um, like one of the traits that makes him speak like that. Rather than long and long-winded. So I think we'll move we'll move that battering ram up to the gates and we'll move the Hastati behind them. And the general. So we don't even though town militia are terrible, we pause, we should be able to see the stats. Like three attack. They do have some defense and they have spears. They have poor morale though. The problem is they're going to be fighting on the town square, so if they break, you know, it's hard for them to break. They basically just break and come back, unless the other, the other unit's routing as well. So, yeah. I love in this game how the peasants just stand in like a rabble, like a blob. Like they don't have a formation or anything like that. The They're just, <laughs> just a load of blokes with pitchforks standing in a blob. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I also love how in this game you can see the actual buildings you've built. Our soldiers have done their work well. Like, the battering ram has broken you know, through the gate. I, I don't know about the, the fully new Total Wars, but some of the uh, some of the older ones, so the other ones like Empire, for example, like the sieges in that are horrendous, especially when it's a fort battle. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Like now when they have a the fort, just on, fighting against the fort. Like I don't know what they could have done differently. Like whether they could have integrated the fort into the city or what they could have done, but you know it's not quite the same. Like you two are the two fastest, so you're going to just go here. And you three, I'm just gonna come out, come behind. Are you gonna fire or what? Okay, that's a general dead. We've lost seven men doing that. Enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our Looks like we're just uh, Looks like we're just charging in there. General out. Just charging around the side. There we are. Perfect. Looks like they got one guy, two guys in the town militia left. Demands victory from her general. 
Lost a few men, 27. Uh, it was just some peasants and some uh, town militia, so... Maybe could have done that a bit more efficiently, but... It's not too much of a worry. Enslave Carolus, we will destroy your temple. We've got 74 corruption, not too bad. Let's have a look what that 5% does. Down to 49, quite a significant decrease. Okay, that's uh, Senate. Mission complete. True. I mean, we don't really care what the Senate thinks with the Julii, so... Right, we're going to get a peasant. We're going to bring you guys around to this side. And we're going to jump you on the boats. What will the public order be like here? I think it'll be fine when we've got a peasant in there. If not, we'll just have to keep uh, recruiting peasants or maybe some mercenaries, but we'll be gone. So, yeah. Wait, let me just check that they don't have an army on. Oh, they do have an army. Oh, I should have checked that before. Bit of a nightmare, but it'll be okay. Let's see what happens in the end turn anyway. Let's go. Okay, so we got the peasant, so... Okay, Carthage is saying ceasefire. I say no. If Gaul wants to ceasefire, then we definitely will take it this time. I mean, the Gaul, it doesn't matter. Wait, Captain Julianus? Who just bribed? The Gauls just bribed an Equites off me. That was my cavalry. Dickheads. Um, General! Alright, well, we're going to destroy this army anyway. I think we can win with this lot. We'll probably fight it at the end, though. End of this turn, I mean. Um, Senate mission aside, blockade Carthage. Nope. We're now the largest faction. Kind of seems a bit crazy. A lot of building was done this turn. We're not going to be able to uh, build all the buildings we want. Let's build a market there, and that's probably the best we can do. And let's move all these retrained guys back across. So we have no cavalry once again, apart from our uh, generals. So I'll move you guys across and dump you onto Suggestica. Hoping the Dacians like leave or get defeated, but I suppose we'll see. Um, you, what are you? Do we we don't know yet. General, bring you here. Okay, three war bands should be pretty easy. Just need to charge them from the back. Got two cavalry. Cavalry's more powerful. Uh, should be okay. Hopefully, anyway. Watch them all mass route now. These goals do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down just like any other men. What we do today, we do as servants of the gods. Ask them for courage and strength. Honor them in your hearts, and they will aid us all. Look to your weapons, but also look to the heavens and raise a mighty shout in praise of the gods. Now, to battle! Cool. Another one that's quite short, so... Oh, I can't remember whether I selected for us to control the other people. Can you get out of the forest? I don't want to fight you in the forest. Okay, you come over here. Where are you? You come over here. And we'll move our cavalry over here. See, like, I'm not sure what the material problems are with actually fighting them in the forest. In terms of like does it reduce our like say Napoleon like if you're firing in the forest you get certain bonuses um, and certain benefits and certain detriments it's a cool picture I like that I never opened them I've not seen that for a long time um, I'm not sure that it's the same in Rome I know certain you know types of units and people get benefits in different terrains We can meet further forward, I think. Nicely spread out with the cavalry, probably the other side actually. 
and we'll speed this up. But like, I know like elephants don't they get bonus in desert and all that sort of stuff, and Germanic in like snow and all that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I'm not actually sure about the pure benefits and detriments in in say trees. Surely they built it so that like archers can't fire as, as well through trees and all that sort of stuff. This town watch. They're like, please no. You didn't sign up for this. We need a bit of space. How far have we got behind them? Plenty of space. We're gonna go all the way behind them. Try to take out their general. We'll front on charge with the Barbarian Cavalry if they want to chase us. Um, and then we'll hit them with the anvil. We'll hit them with the hammer with our general because he's so strong compared. Alright, let's just play normal speed now. Let's run up there. And they might turn if they see our cavalry going this way. Let's just run them through. Yeah, they're going to start charging us now. Right, well... In fact, you go for these guys. They're going to come back and try and help. Okay, they're already broken, that first unit. Let's jump on these guys while they're turned. They might turn around here, not 100% sure. Now, which way are you facing? If you can continue facing that way, that would be excellent for us. Okay, nope, they turned around, but should break from here. Okay, no, let's get out. Would you like to attack or not? Let's charge into the back of these guys, they might break. Yep, yeah, there we are. Okay, and we probably just need to touch these guys because they're shaking, so let's run through them. Just run through them. Literally just touch them. No. Nope. Still not there shaking, but Okay, bring get you guys out. Honestly. Okay, there we are. They're steady and warmed up. Gods be praised. Let's completely destroy the them. Hearts are full of fear and now they flee. How many did I lose? Like 19% kind of silly of me. Although that time watch had died quite a bit. Kind of silly of me to charge in. I didn't react quick enough when we uh, uh with the barbarian cavalry, but not really much of an issue now. And they seem, you know, they've still got some troops and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. You could send them around to suggest to go. Um, probably could bolster up this fort with these uh, barbarian mercenaries. It might dissuade a few of them from attacking, which would be good, just so that I don't need to deal with it. Amuleus, you might win. Uh, you might win some command stats this here. I don't know. Probably wasn't a big enough battle, but I guess we'll see. Victory! Yeah, he did get a trait increase. That's no good. Um, one command. Now he's a confident commander. Orders, cool. Sir, sir. Orders, okay, we're sir. blocked. I think we'll keep them with him just to keep him safe. Now, in terms of everything else, we've got Ready this army, got Ready this army, sail. and we're building where we can. Everywhere is kind of stop building, but we don't have any cash this turn, so let's end the turn. Bring the diplomat up to maybe. Like if there was a. Uh, Gaul diplomat down here, that would be sick, but I suppose we're going to have to just bring him up. Don't just go past him. Come up this way, if we can. Diplomatic, so, okay, Macedon and Greece are at war with each other, and the Greece and Carthage are at a ceasefire, so kind of swings and roundabouts there. Right. Dacia has backed off, which is good for us, so bring the navy into here. And yeah, we want to kind of reorganize this, so get the generals first, then all the Astarte, 
Then the Triaria okay, in this order, yeah. Perfect. Engage the enemy! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement! Can get some Illyrian mercenaries. We might do that to garrison them before we move on next turn. Okay, we've got only three. Yeah, we want to keep you here because we want to just shuffle you down to probably Thermon, in all honesty. Because the Brutii don't look like they're going to do... Like, they're literally just going for Salona. They've got an army there, but not exactly the strongest. Like, it's fine. It's fine, to be fair. But are they going to do anything with it? They've even got three units in there. They're just so slow. I know we haven't conquered the whole world yet, but we've done a bit better than, than, than one territory. This isn't a blitz either. Like, we're not going crazy all out. Let's have a look at Palmer. Can we see it? Okay. It's two slingers. And a town militia. And a general and two militias. So we definitely have a better army. We're just going to have to use the general very yes, carefully. Off the boats. Orders. Maybe we can get some. We'll take the slingers just so that they can't take them. Engage the enemy. Besieging settlements. Gotta be careful with the general because I mean we do. We're about the same amount of troops. Um, our Astarte should shred through the militia. However. Those slingers can actually be quite deadly after a while, so I'm going to have to use our general wisely to kill all the slingers. So we should be able to take that next turn. We should be able to take Suggestica. In terms of buildings, what do we want to build? You, you're building a market. Um, here, let's build some sewers. Sewers. It's just sewers everywhere, apparently. Sewers for everyone. <laughs> and then Amulius. What do we want to do with you? I think we dump these guys in here so we get a bit more movement speed. And we'll come round probably join the Suggestica Forward. army. No more moves, sir. These all have town watch, don't they? I could have just manned it with peasants. I think their upkeep's the same though. Yeah, they're all 100. So these guys are just a bit better to keep in there. In case they ever do actually properly get attacked. So let's end the turn there. Okay, is that a Gaul diplomat? Because I would like to go speak to him. Hello? Oh, just a bit too far away. Who's coming of age? Manius. Okay, he's a poor farmer. He's flexible. Minus one from law. Minus one from squalor is good. And he's a political animal. He'd be good to stick in a city, really. I mean, he's a poor farmer, though, so. Let's join Amulius up here. Hmm. Come round. We might split this army into two, depending on what happens. Uh, but I think we'll go down to Greece anyway. Okay, the Brutii are going there. In all likelihood, they're going to lose that battle, I think. Probably just not quite strong enough. It's about a full stack versus a half stack, I think. Yeah, they're, just, yeah, they're probably just not quite strong enough for that. Sir. I mean, I should have done a draw out Prepare battle here, shouldn't I? Settlement under siege, sir. Uh, why don't we do that? That's probably better for us anyway. Let's just not mess it up. Yeah. So we can go and crush these guys straight away anyway. And then the General's Bodyguard and Militia are going to come in from the right. So let's stay left. To fight that. And we need to kill the General to win this siege. Um, right away and we also need to destroy like basically most of their troops those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians they think they are our equals our enemies I think they are waiting to die they have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons now they will pay the price I have never yet lost a fight against these men 
I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves! Another reasonably short. So we want to stay towards the right. These slingers can come and like kind of screen. Most importantly, though, we want to get our general into it. The enemy have brought up reinforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. There, the reinforcements are coming right behind me, so they're gonna have to bat. They're gonna have to smash through me to uh, to get them, which is not gonna happen. The only thing that's kind of concerning is the town militia. Also, don't want to get these. Don't want to let these slingers uh, shoot. So get you guys charging in straight away. Hope we're not in range. So they're just going to charge like full ham into them. And let's bring the general through here. Uh, you guys. Okay. Um, you can try kill these guys. Let's go through, go through, go through. Go through. Yeah, that's destroyed their morale. Like, it doesn't matter about this, this army, really. I would like to destroy it, but it's more about the, uh, the army that's being sieged. Okay, why are you not destroyed yet? You're eager. Why are you eager? I think that's friendly fire that's killing us here. The enemy okay, there we are. I was going to say that would be this pretty no gutting if our, if our general just died against slingers. Okay, how many have we killed them? The enemy army so 42% is in flight. of the them. enemy army. Them Let's bring the these guys up here. Okay, they've got a general's bodyguard. So, and we're winded. Those, those militia, though, they should not be a problem. Hope we can do what they failed to do against us. Yeah, bring uh, you up here. They're still able to fire. I did not realize you had this much range. Oh, okay. These guys. <laughs> I was going to say. Alright, let's march up a bit. Slingers can remain and firing. I mean, I assume that the uh, Carthaginian general is going to do what you know they normally do and charge headlong into my Astarte, hoping to break them. They might break them, but I think we'll get a charge in the back if I'm fast enough this time. Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Right, they're not going to retreat, are they? Let's hope not. Let's move, march up. Slingers can run because. So they have 27, we have 21. 25 versus 21. Hmm. Don't want to lose this general though, especially so far from home. Could get a man of the hour. Um, not ideal though. Speed up a bit before they just start, decide to charge straight into my men. I bet you. Uh, you guys will run. Or they could decide to charge into my general. Yeah. Fire. Okay, fire your fire your peeler, please. Quick, quick, quick. Should take down a few. Look at that, that's beautiful. They didn't even charge, what 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 the hell? That was so weird, they just marched, they just marched into my men. Don't even need to ch charge them, really. They're gonna break. These town militia are probably gonna break from one charge. Straight in the back. Yeah. So all we need to do is kill that general. Yeah, looks like he's dead. You know? Okay, now he's dead. The general is slain. They now thought he was dead. Fear us. It is time to press the attack! It's only 73, so we need to kill the 85%. Virtue. 
They are not soldiers. Okay. You guys, you guys, you guys, stop firing. Running from our men. Okay, that went pretty well. God, you completely missed that unit, didn't you? Bloody hell, starting. 75% though, so we need to kill a good few of these. Get it above 85. Let's have a look now. Yeah, it's so it's, oh, it's 86 now. Okay. Can you get to here in time or not? Do you reckon you can fire from there? Come on. Are we slow enough? Uh, <laughs> sorry, are we fast enough? Okay, that was Theodicles. He's dead. Yeah, Captain. Yes. I do not know how to say that name. Come on. Let's take a couple at least. Just to make sure. Yeah, there we are. Rome will be Fantastic. At such a victory. Nice. The day is ours. All did all right. All the uh, starting, especially against the uh, general. Although <laughs> that was kind of funny. How? Uh, why did he just walk into our men? We got quite a lucky there. He just literally just walked into them. Victory! Like didn't decide. Oh no way. No way. Sir. Attack. Frustrating. Should have probably left, maybe, say, one Astarte there. Pretty sure we're going to win then. Mm. Ah, it doesn't matter, it just slows us down about a turn. Um, do we have time for this one? Amulius. Come up to here. Okay, so Bruti I've taken. Ah, oh, it's three Peltusts. Imperator. Hmm. Three of those pelters, like, what are they like? They don't have any armor. They do have a ten missile attack, so I want to kind of either get them into melee Prepare straight away. Battle. Three battering rams. Let's go. Should be too bad. Should be okay, but. We'll try, we'll listen to their general speech as well. well. We'll listen to them until they start kind of repeating themselves. Luckily with new sort of enemies, they change, Over there stand but the these are rebels, slaves. so. They are braver and more worthy than men of their type have any right to be. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! He loves the blood. Does the same thing every day. Now it's sunny. Okay, today's a better day to bathe in blood because it's sunny. Velites. First of all, they are organized right, these people, aren't they? Probably, yeah, Hastati, maybe. They have got the towers here so we might actually just want to use the Velites but we'll bring these guys forward just in case everyone else you can stand here we might just want to charge as soon as uh, the gates are open however don't want to lose Flavius and Vibius um, our archers should be the uh, as soon as we start getting attacked here we'll probably drop the ram and move to the side just wait for the other one bring these guys in tight formation so they stay away from those towers okay anyone getting shot yet no uh, archers are you able to fire yes you are well can you, can you start firing please there we are see the fall Straight away, quite a few. They're going to run, I think. We should be ho hopefully be able to like kite them into us if we use our archers. Yeah, they're bringing forward their other ones. Let's come here. Okay, is anyone getting shot? No. This tower's. Are you going to shoot my triarii or not? I mean, I'm not complaining. Hmm. Interesting. Do they have to be stood near them? 
So I can't remember, I know in like Medieval 2 you have to be still near them, don't you? I think. Or is it the other way around? Can't remember. Our soldiers are at the walls! They keep running they into a hail of arrows through. and they're stopping because they don't want to be in a hail of arrows anymore, I assume. Yeah. We've not even used much of our ammunition. I'm gonna stand there, I reckon they're gonna fire at us. Well. The so Bellates the can just fire at them. Once you've dropped the ram. They are firing. Nice. Just just fire at them like just, we'll just destroy them like without having to do anything. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops if we get this forward. guy in first, they might not charge back at us. You can yeah, everyone here can uh, fire at will. You guys get in there, and then these two, maybe for protection, you can come up to here. Wow. Might as well send those guys in. Those tiny little Triarii regiments. How do we get to the uh, town square? Looks like just straight up that way. Um, could send, send these guys this way. With the Triarii. Oh, yep, they're routing. Stand these guys here. They won't be able to get shot, but they will be able to shoot if someone comes past. Um, archers. Come up this way. Velites. Probably just charge our generals in, but okay, you guys actually do normal because you seem to not know how to do a column formation. Still firing at them. Who are they firing at? They're probably firing at these guys. Hopefully the Velites take them down. Just fire, just fire. I don't care about your formation. Just fire. Before you get killed yourself. Velites are not very really valuable though, so... Kind of alright to see them die. Looks like we won't even need to use anyone else really. Apart from that starting, we don't need to use you. You guys... Sprint down here. Okay, Velites nearly run out of ammo. They do have big shields, that's the one thing about them. Like, uh, their armor unit, their armor rating's not too good, is it? No, only two, but uh, they've got a shield of five. So that'll be blocking quite a few of our arrows and all that sort of stuff. Right, well. They're doing that. Well, they're having a little sparring match. You guys can come back. You guys can come here. Both wanting to shoot. And we'll bring our generals around the side. He looks a bit uh, OTT doing this much, like <laughs> maneuvering and stuff. We could just charge all the way in, but you know, want to kind of, uh, you know. Uh, conserve as many troops as we can really especially when we're going up against a tiny city that doesn't really matter like say we lose like 300 you know 200 300 troops in this just from charging in like it's just not worth the worth the effort for that so we want to keep it as conservative as possible really for these battles anyway right you guys you're getting shot so let's go do you know what do it. And these are starty. Let's go kill these guys. Okay, you two can aim at these guys. They're gonna they're literally just gonna route now aren't they? Okay the cavalry is running rampant. There's no one left. 
all of you guys. I'm not sure I want to get any friendly fire. They should charge after this volley though. They're, they are kind of arching their shots over. Should kill them all now. Stop, stop firing actually. Stop, 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 stop. stop. And just melee them. There we are. <laughs> my heart skipped a slight beat then when we saw my troops at this front there. I thought it oh, could have been my general. They are not um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Like, we lost 35, killed 200. Odd, so. Doing alright. Victory! And Dacia didn't take it. Um, let's enslave them. Pair that wall. Let's get the law. Let's see what corruption. No corruption here, actually. Probably because it's just so small. Um, General, Amulius. March. Uh, do we have movement speed? Yes, we do. March. Orders. Splitting the troops. Should be all right. General. Right. Let's, uh, let's just get down here. Out of move, sir. Julius, you can get picked up here. Where is the boats? Would be it like to be able to pick them up straight away, but what can you do? Um, now, Manius, what do we want to do with you? Maybe... No, we still want most of our slaves going to uh, Eretium. I think Patavium... Oh, no. They have really fast rates of expansion. Okay, we're building here. Radio Lanium. Let's build this land clearance. Get the population growth up. Carolus, you only have uh, barracks, so not too much of an issue. Oh, and it looks like uh, we're about to finish, guys. So thank you very much for watching once again. Please do like, follow, subscribe, and comment. Comment down below what the most nostalgic Total War game is for you. We're going to keep this going. We're going to, uh, you know, expand into Greece now and follow through. Get the uh, get the uh, statue of Zeus at Olympia, which is brilliant for everything, especially late game. It keeps all your your provinces at least a little bit happy. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next video.